so once you've done it, you can write down the temperature for your northern and for your southern region in a table like this. Okay, you tape, write down the value for January, for February, and for March. Okay, and then what you do is you just take the, 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 the biggest value. Okay, you want to take the maximum. So, for example, for the northern region, this is an example only. Your numbers might be slightly different. For the northern region, the maximum is 28.7 degrees. And for the southern region, it's less. It's 27.9 degrees. All right. So, now the next one is how to derive hotspot temperature anomaly. And in order to do that, you actually need to use a different data set, and we use weekly data. Okay, so again, we use the NOAA data, and there is now another link where you can actually choose weekly uh, memes. Okay, and I show you that link. 